and welcome everybody to another edition of Historical Geocaching on the Road with Geocacher Tian Photobug from Chattanooga, Tennessee, currently travel caching in Florida, having a lot of fun. Today I am so excited that my family and grandparents and I are heading up to Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge, the very first national wildlife refuge established by President Teddy Roosevelt back in 1903. There's some really cool history there, some cool nature, hopefully we'll even find some birds there. So lots of fun ahead, come along with us as we get to be the bear that went over the mountain to see what he could see at Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge in Sebastian, Florida. And here we are, folks, at Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge, way out here in the boonies of Florida, which is a really cool place to be. And actually, interesting thing is, and I'll, I'm sure I'll tell you more history as I, we continue along this about quarter mile hike out to the observation area for Pelican Island, but... Um, this place was actually closed for the first hundred years of its existence from 1903 to 2003 but as its centennial um, approached the National Wildlife Refuge people they created a really nice trail out here and opened this up to the public so now you can see this centennial trail sign this trail let's go hike it Here's another historical marker. It says Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge has been designated a registered National Historic Landmark under the provisions of the Historic Sites Act of August 21, 1933. This site possesses exceptional value in commemorating and illustrating the history of the United States. U.S. Department of Interior National Park Service, 1963. Okay folks, so here is the awesome history of Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge as I understand it. So basically, there's this guy who came over from Europe as an immigrant named Paul Krogel back in the 1880s. And he came here and homesteaded right here in Sebastian on the other side of the um, little Indian River waterway. And he liked the pelicans a lot that were on Pelican Island, but he saw trappers and shooters were constantly coming to the island to shoot the pelicans to steal their eggs, especially, you know, for like the feathers for hats. And he didn't like that at all. So he had a boat he named the Audubon and he had a gun and he went over there and stood watch over the birds. But he needed to do more than that, so he started raising an uh, awareness campaign. He got state protection for these birds. But then he was a real breakthrough came when there was he got word of his plight came out to an ornithologist who headed a very well-known um, bird museum up in um, in New York City. And this ornithologist came down to here to Pelican Island and confirmed that this on Pelican Island was the very last rookery of brown pelicans either in existence or in America. It was very one of the last. And so he, so this ornithologist and Krogel and a few other guys who came on board, they 
went up to President Teddy Roosevelt, pleaded on his conservation values, and they and he they got him to sign into law Pelican Island being the very first national wildlife refuge. And the rest, they say, is history. And here we are, folks. Here, I think one of, one of my favorite parts of Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge yet. Really cool boardwalk that goes up to the observation tower. I'll tell you about more about that in a second. Here's another cool historical marker. It talks about the stamp that commemorates Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge's centennial, 2003. Let me read it to you. The United States Postal Service issued this Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge commemorative stamp on March 14, 2003 to honor the centennial celebration of the National Wildlife Refuge system. The creation of this marker of this refuge in 1903 marks the beginning of the beginning of marks the beginning of the refuge system and conservation movement in America. The issuance of this commemorative stamp by the U.S. Postal Service signifies the importance of this event in American history. That is cool. And if you see here, I don't know if you can read, there are some letters, some names on here. And this is from 1903 to 2003. All of the National Wildlife Refuges refuges in America, starting with the most recent, the um, Hack Matak National Wildlife Refuge, looks like in Illinois and Wisconsin, and I am told, if you keep walking, the one, a very last one on here, which is the very first National Wildlife Refuge in America, it's Pelican Island, that's where we are. To the observation tower. And here we are. I believe the island right in front of us is Pelican Island. So I need to actually be here and see it.
Well, anyway, this has been a really awesome experience. It's so neat to come visit America's very first national wildlife refuge, hear the story of what Paul Krogel and Teddy Roosevelt and others did to save these birds here. Neat to see the brown pelicans up at the observation tower. Really neat experience here. I definitely recommend coming here to Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. I will put a link to its website in the video description below. So if you want to learn more about it or come here, you can. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed watching this video. Be sure to check out all my other videos at youtube.com slash tnphotobug. And until next time, this is Geocaster TN Photobug signing out. I am indeed having a blast with the past.